Hey, what's going on? Craig B here. Um, I think today is the official release of the Tops 2024 Series 1. And God damn it, it's time sensitive. Gotta open it before everybody else opens it. There's probably actually a bunch of people have already opened it, but... Uh, I went to the LCS today. I, God, I couldn't pull the trigger on the $200 jumbo box. So I actually just bought some, uh, singles, some older packs, some, some of those dollar, uh, grab bag packs. I'll do another video on that sometime. Um, and, uh, so it's pretty cheap there. Went to look at my normal target, nothing. My, my normal Walmart, nothing. It's like, you know what? I'm kind of close to the other target. I didn't expect them to find them there, but I was wanted to look for something else. And they had, I had a couple blasters um, for later if I want them. So we're going to open these up and we're just going to do uh, the Craig B Retail Review. So without further ado, this is, I don't know how much each thing was. And well, this was 25. I think this was 12. I don't know exactly how much this was. Everyone's saying you get a couple Easter parallels per blaster, which is cool. And people are saying the hangers are good. I've only heard one person talk about, I don't like fat packs. I just, I've never had any luck with them before. And it's going to continue here, I think. But I don't like fat packs, but I almost put it back. Well, I did, then I grabbed it again. So I really like this design. I, I mentioned it. I don't know if I mentioned it before. There's some type of gold card in there. I mentioned it before. It cracks me up that people are complaining because of the black border that they're not going to be able to get all their dollar base cards fucking, uh, fucking graded. So I love it. Okay, let's go through. It's already dinged up. Oh, I thought I got the same, pretty much the same pose here. Uh, George Kirby. It almost has like a chrome look to it when you first look at it. I like it. These are really nice for uh, flagship. George Kirby. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Emerson Hancock, rookie. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, shout out to SW. Random rookie. I still don't like... Uh, I really like these. Cole Reagan, I think he was pretty good last year. I don't like the, the vertical ones. There's a Brendan White, random rookie, Alec Thomas. He hasn't really um, shot out or anything yet. I know he was a highly thought of guy. Alec Marsh, I'm not going to know a lot of these guys. Let's try to get below here. And someone, I, I think it was Jab's family, talking about you know, how they didn't like these, but they were better than manager cards. I disagree. I miss manager cards. Mark Vientos. Another one. Austin Hayes. And, of course, we have to look at all the base in here because you just don't know what it's going to be. Spencer Strider. Okay, so still a few more base here. Is that stars of the MLB still? God. There's a Nick Robertson. There's a Danby Swanson, my first Cubs of the year. There's just too many of them. There's Justin Steele. That's cool. My Cubs, for him to have a, a Cubs rookie from the previous year, be on a leaderboard. Let's get the stars of the MLB out of the way. Is that a Cubs already? Pete Crow Armstrong. He's not a star, and he's never been in the MLB before yet. But hey, what does that stop you from making a card? Um, in my uh, Mr. T video, he sent me a bunch of Pete Crow Armstrongs, so that's cool. And there's a Hayden Wineski for the Cubs. So it's kind of a Cubs box. And there is a Mookie Betts. I like these cards. A little bit different design than from what before. I like the purple in it. I'm just going to put... Uh, Pete Crow Armstrong out there for right now. Let's see what we get in here. Grand Gamers. Not numbered Ty Cobb. Shout out to uh, Joel Berry. I think he's a Ty Cobb fan. And we have a Vinny P. Oh, it's a jersey card from the Fat Pack. Nice. Out of 50. 
is this one of those ones that uh, player worn? Oh, player worn, not game worn. Uh, hold on, I'm just reading it here. I don't know. But uh, you can't be really too complaining about an out of 50 jersey card. I know Vinny P has a ton of autographs, and but I'll take it. So I would take, a, I'll take that fat pack every time. Okay. So we're going to put these two away and just keep the Vinny P out there. So let's do the hanger. Just hanging out. I didn't really, I, I didn't hear till, ah, God damn it, I didn't hear till afterwards that people were saying that the hangers are really good. I would have considered probably not buying the fat pack. I wouldn't have got the Vinny P. I would have considered buying two hangers or maybe instead of the, instead of the blasters, getting like four or five hangers and seeing what we could get. I just don't like it. I just kind of like opening the packs. So I kind of like the blasters. And then I heard about Easter Parallel. I'm interested in seeing what they look like. Let's see what we get in here. It's actually one of my better fat packs I've had in a long time. Can't remember getting a numbered jersey card out of there. And let's see what we can get here. Another Ryan O'Hearn. Thyro Estrada. There's a AJ Smith sh Shaver. Reese Olsen. There's a Miguel Maya. Like I said, I don't know too many of these guys. We're looking for a uh, Ellie De La Cruz rookie card. Eventually, it'll be a dollar card. But okay, nothing so far. Just do a little bit. Chris Bryant. The Jordan Westberg. Okay, let's see if we can pick this up and get some more base cards out of here. I think we saw that one already. Austin Hayes. Okay. God, I damaged it. I'm not going to get a 10 on that. Some more... Um, Another Strider, so seeing a lot of the repeats. Abner Uribe. And let's see what we have back here still. Mark Vientos. Yeah, it seems like we got kind of the same coalition. Logan Ohapi, Future Stars. That's what the Future Stars logo looks on these. And once again, it actually kind of almost has a chrome look to it. I like it. Elites of the game. Goddamn elites. Trying to tell us how to, oh, this is a different type of elite. There's Joe Jocks. Joe Jocks. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. And we get to the, uh, this is the celebration of the kid insert. Oh, we got something turned backwards. Oh, look at this. All tops team. I don't think this is anything special. But uh, outfield, Ronald Acuna Jr., very cool. Here's another Pete Crow Armstrong and another Mookie Bet. See, I knew we got the same damn same coalition. There's Corbin Carroll and a J-Rod. So the J-Rod's cool. We got the celebration of the kid. We're just going to take that out for the Acuna too. What do we have back here? We have some yellow, I guess maybe yellow are the exclusive uh, hanger cards. There is the 89, God, 89 was a terrible year, Pete Alonzo and Jake Rogers, but a rookie card, Johan Rojas. I'm not gonna keep those out here. Let's see what this backward card is. That is like a rainbow foil, not numbered, of Jacob Amaya. I just don't know what's yet, what's what in here yet. Okay, so, um, so far, the fat pack was a little bit better. Now we get to the good stuff. Now we get, can't open it, to the blaster box. Hope everyone's having a nice Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm not trying to be that old man 
this and that, but it's just kind of a half made up holiday just to get to sell stuff. Okay. These are nice cards. I'm glad I got these. I'm glad I found them. And once again, there's no manufactured patch in here again. I have another video that I filmed the day before the Super Bowl. I was going to show it along with Mr. T's pickups videos on the Super Bowl. But his, his stuff was so amazing that it was the greatest care package ever that I just didn't want to post anything else. So uh, I'm going to be showing that too in a couple days here. I had two of the, the tins, the Target football tins, and they were good. They were pretty good. Got a couple autographs, so excited about posting that. This is the first pack, and we have the Chrome. The Chrome stars of the MLB, Jazz Chisholm. I don't know if he's really a star anymore. And then a Pete Alonzo and a Tyler Sotstrom. So, um, nothing in that first pack. I want to see what these Easter parallels look like. Oh, one of these. What are Easter parallels? I'm sure there's some type of, um, there's different patterns on it. But those are Easter eggs. That's cool. That's an Edwin Diaz. That is the Easter parallel. Very cool. There's Joe Jocks again. We got this. There's Nico. I was thinking about Nico Horner and um, Cade Marlowe. There's Adley. Another Adley. Back to back Adleys. And I don't think that's anything. Daniel Bard. Like, to me, Nico is a good guy to collect. He's not a rookie anymore. He's still young, though. Not my favorite team. And um, relatively cheaper stuff, but he's still a fun, decent player. So I'm going to kind of maybe make Nico Horner my second kind of PC guy. Samad Taylor. Zach Gallon, good pitcher. Too many uh, landscape here. The third Mark Vientos I've seen. Kristen Yelich, unfortunately. So this was kind of a throwaway pack. Marco Luciano and Trent Grisham. So uh, two out of three packs. Blasters are not doing great yet. Something was red. I think that's uh, another not rare insert. And there's another, that's another Easter. I don't know what's in there. I think it's an Easter parallel. A Spencer Strider. Hold on, let me see what this is. Is that a baby chick? I don't know what this is. Yeah, we can't delay any longer. Spencer Strider, cool looking card though. I like the design of that, whatever it is. Matt Waldron. Austin Hayes, another, uh, just not too familiar with a lot of these names. I mean, you're going to get that every year. That is Chaz McCormick, greatest hits outfielder. Okay, sure. Nice looking card. We'll put it up there. Uh, Fernando Tatis and then Henry Davis. I'm kind of puzzled by Henry Davis because I'm now hearing that He's not a good defensive catcher, and they can't put him at catcher. Well, why did you make him the first overall pick then? You could have, if you're going to put him in the outfield or put him at first, whatever you're going to do with it, why not just go draft? Because you know you're going to be able to draft someone better who actually plays that position. If he wasn't what you wanted at catcher, was that something in there? I don't know. Backwards card. We'll save this for last. Backwards card. Hopefully we get some type of numbered card or something. Is that a third Easter parallel? Oh, it's the Rays. And it's the Tampa Bay Ray, Devil Rays. Okay. So three, I, I thought they just said two Easter parallels. 
There's a Kodai Singa. Ah, just too many of these. That's cool though. Ronald Acuna Jr., Freddie Freeman, Baltimore, Spencer Strider again, Nick Forts, Juan Soto. Juan Soto, I guess they're supposed to be, they say there's a short print of Juan Soto on the Yankees. That ain't the short print. Yanir Diaz, there's a Jackie Robinson, that's cool, 35 anniversary. And another Yordi and Clark Schmidt. So we got one more pack, one more pack and then the pack, there could be a backwards card in it. Another one of these. I like how they put their pictures on the back, the headshots. That's cool. Astros No-No. Abner Uribe again. Johnny DeLuca. Oscar Colas. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the blue. Okay, I forgot about that. And Vladdy. You'll be seeing a lot of that card if you're buying retail. Nolan Arenado. That's the Target Blue variation. Could have been worse. It's Arenado's a good player. I have to check to see what's the rare of the uh, the Easter parallels. Morton. This is the last pack. Trey Cabbage. The Reds. We never got a Ellie De La Cruz. Jose Rodriguez. What else do we have here? A Henry Davis stars on the MLB. There's Justin Steele. And the card that was turned backwards is... Oh, I thought it was going to be an Ellie when I saw the Reds. Because I asked for it. That's a rainbow foil Joey Votto. So it was, it was fun. Uh, no big hits. The biggest hit was out of the, um, the fat pack, the Vinny P out of 50. And then just fun. I'll take a look and see about those parallels and everything. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.